Today we're installing a custom made DCT gear selector in my F80 M3. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Now, there's nothing really wrong with an OEM gear selector in these DCTs. They look pretty cool, but we're making it even cooler by adding a customized one from Black Forest Industries. Now, as you may know, with the F30s and the F32s and a couple other cars, they have a little button on the gear selector that you have to press to unlock it so that you can engage a different gear. Well, with the F80, the F82, and the F87, it doesn't. It just has a little connection that controls the light. So that means you can install an upgraded DCT gear selector, which is what we're gonna show you how to do today. So here's the gear selector that we're going to be installing in my F80 M3. So once again, it is from Black Forest Industries, and what is amazing about it is A, it's weighted, so it's going to give you a much better feel in your hand. Now, is it gonna give you that same feel if you're driving a manual? I mean, manuals always feel better when you're actually shifting, but it's just gonna be a cool little upgrade for this car. Next, you'll notice that I have perforated leather up top. I have a black actual shift knob, I have leather, and I have M stitching. All of these options are fully customizable. So if you want different colors, if you want Alcantara, if you want just metal, no problem. If you want Alcantara boot, with white stitching, no problem. On our site, we have a ton of different options. Not only is all of this customizable, but also this little coin that sits on top. I even made it inside red because the car's red. So let's show you how easy it is to install and then check it out. So basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be pulling off this piece of plastic right there. There's one screw that holds this entire assembly in. We're going to disconnect one connection and then we can simply reinstall our new setup with our new little shift boot and our gear selector. Now the first part of the process is we need to get this piece of trim off. So to do that, what I do is I just take my hands. I don't really use any tools when I take this piece off. And I just pop it up over there, pop it up over there. And then this can connection right there plugs right into there. So once you unplug that, you can set it out of the way. Um, the other thing I wanna note is I always recommend taking the front off first and then you lift up. Um, you're gonna have to open this, but it's super easy to do. So now what you can do is take a very thin trim tool and carefully just go in here. You can start to pry this up and then pull it off the rest of the way by hand. This does have one connection for your drive logic. So you can disconnect that, set that to the side. Okay, so once you're here, what we need to do is we need to remove this little display piece right here. Um, it's just held on by basically double-sided tape. So you can either, if you don't really care about it, you can just pull it off now, use a pick tool or use a trim tool. Um, I kind of want to save it. So I'm going to heat it up a little bit with a heat gun so that I can pretty much just slide it off. Now, when you're using a heat gun, you never want to hold it in the same spot for a prolonged amount of time. And just be careful because you are inside your car. Even when you put it down, put it outside. It's not worth the risk. You can take a trim tool. You want to slide it around the edge. I like to start at the bottom corner. Slide it around. Okay, there it goes. So here you can see the little adhesive that BMW uses. Um, so really just double-sided tape. So once you're in here, you're going to need a T8 to remove this screw. It's super tiny, so make sure you don't drop it. You know, just put that in my cup holder. Then once you do that, this whole piece right here is gonna flip up, but there are electronics connected to it, as you can see right over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully disconnect this. Okay, just like that. And then we can put this in a safe place. Now a little tip to remove this from the little board 
just take your nail on this little outer side right there and I would just recommend just popping it from one side and then just kind of work it back and forth until it's completely off. Now that you've done that, take a T25 and remove this screw here. Set this over there. And then you want to be very careful. You want to just slide this whole thing up. Um, it is a little bit tough to do. The trick is to just not rip off that plug. So you're gonna have to use a little bit of force. It's a little bit weird, uh, but once you get it, you'll be good. Now, before we get started with the installation of this, I do wanna mention that we put a little piece of electrical tape over our connection, just so it's not gonna rattle around. So with that, we're gonna take our new gear selector. We're gonna put it in here. We're just gonna pull the shift boot up so we can start to see these threads. Now it comes with three microscopic <laughs> Um, little set screws and that is what's going to hold everything in place. So what we're going to do, and be very careful if you're doing this in the interior of your car, we're going to take each one, we're going to put a little bit of blue Loctite on there and we're going to partially thread them in. Then what we're going to do, we're going to slide this thing down, we're going to lock these in place and then we're going to continue with the shift boot installation and then we're pretty much done the process. So with that, let me just put this down here. We're gonna try to not get any of this in my car. <laughs> One drop covers like the whole thing. Okay. Here's one. <laughs> and with this, I recommend using the little Allen key. Honestly, just to hold this thinking thing because it's so small. All right. Okay, so then you can carefully slide your connection in here. Mine are a little bit too tight, so I have to loosen this up. Now you can install it however you want. Um, I'm going to install it so this little seam right here is facing the back. It's just a little bit too tight to spin around right now. Loosen that up, there we go. Uh, but if you wanted it to be facing the front or whatever, it's completely up to you. Now I'm just going to tighten these down. I have it pushed down as far as it will go. Then what you can do is you can take the included zip tie. These are pretty cool. It's like a specialty one where it goes in this way and it just remains nice and flat. You're going to take the zip tie over here. So you feed it through like that. And then that's what's going to hold the shift boot on. show you exactly where in just a second um, and before I, I make this too tight you want to make sure that you have it on the right way so the, the big side is going to be on the top here and then the little side is going to be on the bottom I'm just going to pull this up make sure that there's no wrinkles or anything then you can lock it down and then we have some scissors we're going to cut it with Next, you want to take a clean microfiber and some isopropyl alcohol. You want to just wipe down this area here. There's a little double-sided tape that's included with the kit, just to make sure that everything is going to stay in place. So then we can take our double-sided tape, and I'm mainly just going to focus on the corners. So I'll just take a little piece like this. put it like here. The corners are what tends to lift up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna stick it. I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna stick it. And you wanna kinda just kinda massage it around the corners there. Um, the other thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to line up the back stitch with my shift knob switch, stitch, not switch. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the backing on our little coin that goes on top. I'm trying to line this up the best we can. That looks so cool. So now what we can do is we can plug this back in, plug in DriveLogic. 
navigate this around. Press that all back in. Make sure that everything fully clips in. Then you can take your connection over here, plug that back in, lift this up, line up the back. Like I said before, I like to go like this. So in the reverse order to install it, I like to push that side down and then that. And at this point, everything is fully installed. Check it out. So as you can see, it looks incredible. Um, I went kind of stealth. I didn't want to go Alcantara because I feel like Alcantara, you can kind of get like skin flakes and whatnot. It just attracts dust. So I went with the perforated leather. Same with the little leather shift boot because I have the Alcantara um, gear shifter surround trim thing. Um, so I didn't want to have too much Alcantara. I have some leather over here. And I think the M stitching and all, um, it just looks amazing. And I can't wait to use it. Now, before I let you go, two quick little notes. So first off, before you finalize everything and press this in place, be sure that you do a couple test shifts. Make sure you try putting it in drive and also into reverse because this is going to stretch the boot. And you wanna make sure that everything is locked down so that the boot isn't pulling out when you go to push it down. Also, be sure to give it a good push on the top and also the bottom to make sure that everything is going to be nice and secure. And that way, when you're shifting it around, nothing's gonna move. And then the second point I wanted to make is as you can imagine, because we didn't plug that little connection into anything, this does not light up. There's actually no LEDs or anything anyway. But if someone's driving your car and they haven't driven an F80, F82, or F87 before, it still has a shift pattern. So they can pretty much figure it out the same as if you had your regular DCT shift knob in there. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you are interested in a customized DCT shifter for your F80, F82, or F87, be sure to see the links down in the description. We have links to all the products and also tools we use in today's video. If you haven't done so already, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.